Hi, James. I wanted to send you this quick website audit as promised to give you some tips on your website, show you where your company is currently ranking, and just go over a few specifics of how to beat your competition online. So I know you said you can't watch this video for about a week and that is totally fine. I'm just going to send it on over to you and hopefully it's helpful to you. So the three things I'm going to talk with you about are content, backlinks, and citations. So content is anything on the home page of your site that Google can read. So all the text on the home page, all the text within your images, and whatever your images are saved as. Now, to be considered authority in Google's eyes, you're going to want to have at least 1,500 to 2,000 words of content on your home page, and you'll want it to be stuffed with content that has to do with buyer intent. So for you specifically, you'd be looking at things like um, electrical contractors, Oklahoma City, or Oklahoma City electricians. So just different keyword phrases that are location specific. Um, will really, anything along those lines will really help when anyone types the searches into Google, your website will pop right up. So that is the goal. Um, and looking at your website, I like the way it's laid out. I like your uh, the colors that you have going on here um, to match your branding. One thing that I would recommend on the homepage is at the bottom here where you have get in touch and you have the lead form, if you have right above it, if you could put testimonials from past clients, that's always a huge plus. It goes a long way with prospective clients just, um, you know, in order to build trust with them and, and um, help them to see, you know, how you guys are, what they can experience with you guys if they um, end up hiring you. So that's always a good thing to have. And then, um, you know, it looks like your, your homepage is lacking content here. So you'll want to go ahead and add that text um, and up to 1,500 words, 1,500 being the minimum. So if you were to get to that mark, uh, the rule of thumb that we tell our clients to use is one keyword phrase for every 125 to 150 words of content. So that would be somewhere around like 10 to 12 keyword phrases spread organically throughout the paragraphs. That is what uh, we would recommend to help this homepage um, rank higher in the searches. And then the next thing I see is your, I'm going to talk to you about is your service pages. So it looks like your services are all listed here, which is great. Um, one thing that I would recommend doing is going ahead and splitting these into different pages. Um, you don't have to have all of them on different pages if some of them can be grouped together. But what will really help is if somebody's like, let's say somebody's looking for, you know, um, electrician for new construction and they type in electrician, new construction, Oklahoma City. Um, then if you have this as a separate back page, Google will you know, how it will rank it higher. It's a lot easier to rank that way. And so if someone types that in, your back page will pop up and then they'll end up on your website. So if you were to split up in these into, split these up into service pages, excuse me, I would recommend 500 words of content and then anywhere from uh, three to four keywords within the, the text on each of these pages. So that will really help with ranking the services and getting more website visits and hopefully new customers. So um, as far as the website goes, other than that, your about section is really nice. I like that you guys have that and you have, you know, the whole team here. That's a, a really good thing to have on the page just so, like I said, so prospective clients can see kind of what you guys are about. And then um, I like how you have your projects listed in a little photo gallery. It's always a really nice touch. Um, if you can add any more photos, just continue to add those because those are really great and you can save them, you know, using the uh, using keywords so that they'll they'll rank higher as well. So I would have a contact us page. I would add that as well. Uh, that just that just helps to get more leads coming in through your site. So um, that's pretty much it for your site. Uh, the main thing is content on those service pages and on the home page. And then um, the next thing I want to talk to you about is backlinks. So the thing with Google is it can kind of be like a popularity contest in a way because they judge you by how many websites are pointing back at you. Now, very important to remember, not all backlinks are created equal. So what that means is you're going to gain a lot more influence from a backlink that is related to your industry. So for example, an electrician blog that mentions your company would be a good one for you. 
or a popular website that features various types of home services and features electrical services, that would be another good one for you. Something that has to do with the services you offer, you're gonna have much more influence given to you from that type of backlink versus a backlink from, let's say, your local Domino's Pizza, for example. So I pulled up your site right here, and it looks like you have 42 backlinks from 13 different websites pointing back at you. And you have two for your organic traffic, which tells me you have minimal to no traffic coming into your site per month. So this is over a 30-day period. You've had two website visits. Now, I put in one of your top competitors in the area, Dane Electric, just to give you an idea of what they have coming in. So it looks like they have 80 website visits within the last 30 days. So my guess is that some of these have converted to new customers for them. So a strategy that we tell our clients to use to get that same kind of influence and power as their competitors is to go in and get the same backlinks as they have and then continue to keep adding on more and more so you'll end up surpassing them while gaining more power to your site, a lot more organic traffic, and of course, new customers, which will go along with that. And the last thing I wanna to talk to you about today is citations. So citations are important because if someone's looking for a service now, most likely they'll end up typing it into Google and then you'll see these companies come up in the Google My Business local map pack. So usually it's three companies and people see these as, you know, the top, the most reputable. Um, they think they're at the top for a reason. Well, the reason is because they have the most citations and citations are anywhere on the internet where your business name, phone number and address are listed in different directories such as you know, Yelp, Yellow Pages, just name a couple. So again, what we tell our clients, same type of strategy that we use with backlinks. You wanna go in and list yourself in whatever directories these companies are listed in, and then add on a space cushion of let's say 20 to 30% more directories than your competition. Over time, you're gonna end up infiltrating this Google My Business local map pack. You'll be ranking at the top, and before your competitors can even realize it, they won't be able to catch up because you'll just keep adding more backlinks, more citations, and taking on all of that new business. So here is my company, Lobo Leads, and this is my phone number. If you have any questions after watching the video, I'd be happy to answer those. And of course, you know, I'd welcome your feedback. I really appreciate it, and thank you for watching.